guys so this is just overdue overdue old news at this point but I have been busy and never gave an update so I am not on Kato anymore um I oh, I don't know when I went off Kato I'd have to do the math I have I was on Kato for probably about a year and a half and I went on it because I had some very specific health concerns um, and I had tried many other things. My doctors had even had me try a few different diet things and I had heard about the keto diet before um, and I did a little research into some of the stuff that I had going on and I thought that it might be really helpful to me and so I, after having tried many, many things, um, went on the keto diet. Uh, and it was great. I'm glad I did it. And um, if I ever have similar health issues uh, again in the future, I probably would do it again. Uh, but I didn't stay, I don't, I don't feel like it's a very sustainable diet. Um, I, it's very limited for one thing. Uh, and so that makes it just more difficult to eat in general. Uh, I don't eat meat. And so, I mean, if I ate meat, it probably wouldn't be nearly so limited, but since I don't eat critters, um, it, it's really hard to be on keto. Uh, but then also, uh, I don't feel like the keto diet is really long term. It's not, it doesn't seem to me like it's a very balanced uh, nutrition. And because you are not allowed to have so many like really good fruits and veggies and um, things like that. And so I, I, I just, I, I feel like, you know, fruits and veggies are important and I miss them and I want to eat fruits and veggies again uh, so I'm going to do that. Um, being on keto for over a year and I want to say probably a year and a half maybe more really changed um, the way I look at food and my the way I look at carbs and sugar and the way I understand uh, the way the body breaks down uh, food uh, and so it helped me to be very mindful of food and even now going off of it I am trying to well I mean I'm, I'm I don't think I will ever eat you know the exact same way I did before I really really love sugar and sweets and I think now it's like much more like moderation I'm very I'm when I eat sugar, I'm just more mindful, like, oh gosh, like, of what, just of sugar and just what sugar does and how sugar um, works in your body. And I just, I'm very aware and hyper aware of what sugar is doing when I'm eating it. Um, and so I don't really want to eat sugar that much anymore. Um, I don't really... I haven't really wanted or craved or looked for bread much. Uh, I One of the first things I went back for though were corn tortilla chips. I am so happy to have them back because I want them with my queso, my guacamole, and my salsa. Oh my gosh, I love tortilla chips. They are the best, so uh, I'm happy to have those back in my life. Uh, <laughs> But that's probably one of the only, like, empty kind of a carb I eat now. I don't, like, I sometimes might do, like, a gluten-free pizza or something that has, like, a rice noodle or a rice-made crust. Gluten's been an issue for me for a while, and I've known that. Uh, and my doctors told me a while ago to avoid it. And so um, just noticing how I feel when I eat. Do consume it since I generally avoid gluten most of the time I agree that I should just steer away from it so I'm just not even gonna go there 
uh, <laughs> not even going to go there. Um, but it's like my food choices now, I'm like, I really, really am thinking more about more whole food ingredients. Um, but chips are my weakness. Like chips and dip are my weakness. Uh, but in general, like more of my food comes now from just like whole vegetables and whole fruits and just really um, wholesome, just natural ingredients. Uh, it's just... I don't know, after, after so long of eating a certain way, like, I think there's part of that that I'm just, it's going to have an influence on me for a really long time, maybe forever, like, but I think in a good way, it's just, I'm just much more mindful of things, and I'm feeling a lot better, um, like, I'll notice, like, I got some candy for a treat, and then... I make my face broke out afterwards and so it's like I know like I can have a little bit of sugar like I can have a little bit of candy and I'll be okay but if I have too much candy or oh no that's what it was it wasn't candy I had it <laughs> it was so good I, I might have been worth it I had like uh this much of like a slurpee like a not a slurpee shaved ice kind of a thing Kona ice struck so I had like this much of one of those just because I wanted to taste I hadn't had something like that in like two or three years and I was like I'm gonna have this and oh my gosh my face like I had pimples everywhere for like two weeks and so I had to live with that consequence and so I can't handle that much sugar I um I can have a couple Twizzlers <laughs> you know, and nothing uh, happens, but so it's like a fine line, um, and so I think I'm like more aware because my face was always broken out before, so I I was just like, oh, my face is always broken out, and now I'm like, oh, there's a reason my face breaks out. So it's just I've learned some things um, from being on keto. Uh, yeah, so but I'm I'm not on it anymore, and I just wanted to share that because. I'm like always eating, like I'm always eating, that's all I do, I eat, I eat a lot, <laughs> that's not all I do, but I eat a lot, and I'm always eating, and I'm like, I'm, someone's gonna see a picture of me with like a bag of tortilla chips, and they're gonna be like, wait, isn't she on keto? And I'm like, oh yeah, I never told y'all, I'm not, oh y'all, gosh, I must be from Texas. <laughs> uh, anyway guys, um, that's it, that was just my rambly announcement uh, and just my follow-up final thoughts on keto because it's um, closed up and done uh, chapter of my life for now so I uh, just closing out that page in the book uh, anyway guys I will talk to you next week thank you bye <laughs>